Christ. Okay, hello everyone. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Yes, hello. Um, I just want to let you know I've had a total of five minutes to prepare this speech. So let's get started, shall we? Um, I would like to begin with, you know, talking about myself, of course, in typical fashion. I have been going through a lot lately. Like, oh my gosh, this is by far the hardest month and a half of my entire life. It's insane what I have to do. I've had to do, I had a weekend, I had weekend duty, FTX, BBA, and like two Fs I had to get up. They're up now, don't worry, I know, you're stressed, but they're up. So, I had to get all that done in uh, three days. That was by far the most stressed out I think I've ever been. It was insane. And I know a lot of you are thinking like, you know, oh, I'm going through, no, I'm here, that's hard. I'm about to go into the army. That's hard. There's a lot of hard things that we're doing right now. But the thing is, is that we are in the process of doing these hard things. Right? It sucks. It's not fun. You read these books about successful people, you know. Uh, uh, think of anybody. They have a book on success. I mean, freaking, who was um, uh, Family Matters? Who was that? I love that show. Person. Huh? <laughs> Or not, not Family Matters, I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, Family Feud. Feud, that's what it was. Family Feud. Steve, oh, Harvey. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey is his book on success. I mean, that's awesome, right? Everyone has a book on success. But the thing is, you write these books, you write these books after the fact. And then people read them, and they're like, oh, yeah, dude, I'm going to be so successful by reading this book about success. But in actuality, you, uh, you're struggling to get there right now. We are 90% in the uh, struggles, right? So I'm gonna give you my three items of success. My personal, I'm gonna write a book about one day. You gotta be stupid, you gotta get lucky, and then you gotta hashtag get good. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start off with, you gotta be stupid. Look where I am. I am not miserable. I'm obviously a very happy man, but uh, I, it's 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 pretty sucky right now. I'm not really enjoying what I'm doing 100%. It sucks. It's hard. It's it's miserable. The citadel. Like I said, BBA, grades, everything. But I'm stupid. I'm putting myself in these stupid situations, and it it sucks. It hurts. It's not fun. But I'm a firm believer that if you go through challenges, if you go through hard parts in your life, you become a better individual at the other end of the tunnel. Am I right? Right? Yeah? General consensus? Keep telling yourself that. That makes me feel better about being at this school. So, uh, that's the first step. You have to do something stupid, put yourself in a hard place, and if you are able to overcome that stupidity that you enacted upon yourself, Guess what? You're a better individual because of it. Which brings me to step two. You gotta get mad lucky. So I think I think now I'm a Christian. I think that God rewards those who go out of their way to do to, to do this to themselves. Now it's not suffering in the sense that we might think of, but it is, it is a form of suffering. And when we go through that form of suffering, you become a better individual. And God, I think, rewards those. So I've gotten so lucky because I put myself in so many stupid situations. For example, I turned a paper in two weeks late the other day. I got an A on it. What? Yeah? Yeah, I did. Two papers, actually. I got an A and a B. <laughs> Super lucky. Um, my roommate, when I came to the Citadel, is one of the best guys I think I've ever met. Got super lucky there. Um, I, I honestly think that the harder and more difficult places you go, you're going to see these rewards come to you in unexpected ways. And you may not always realize it, but that's part of the trail to success, is attempting to realize how lucky you truly are. Now the papers, that was, that was general, you know, that's that stupid luck. I'm talking genuine luck. 
You are so lucky and blessed to all be here in this place, in this situation, right now, in a group of intelligent individuals listening to the most intelligent individuals speak to you right now. So, um, you're all very lucky. That's the second part to success. And the third part to success is you got to get good. What I mean by that, I'm sorry, hashtag, get good. What I mean by that is that you have to learn that what you go through, the stupid situations you put in, yourself in, the luck that you get out of it, that is going to be utilized after the fact. This is when you write the book. You have to get good, write your book, and you have to publish it in your life. You have to utilize what you went through to become that better individual. Now, um, I'm not saying actually write a book, but there's lessons to be learned in everything. Uh, for example, a lesson I learned is, I'm sorry, a lesson I'm still learning and struggling to learn is time management. I have a long way to go with time management. I'm super lazy and I love movies, so that's a bad combo. But when I get back in my room, first thing I want to do is watch a movie on Netflix. I watched Good Brother Where Art Thou the other day. And I have a paper that was due yesterday. So I probably should probably get that in. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And I realize that. And I'm willing to go the extra mile tonight, go to my host family's house, eat some delicious food, and apply the lesson of time management to become a better individual and to actually progress in my life instead of holding myself back. So. That's my three steps of success. You got to be stupid, realize that you're incredibly lucky, and then after the matter of the fact, apply all three steps into your own life. Now, I'm not a preacher. I'm not going to preach to y'all about my three lessons of success. So what I don't want you to do is attempt to take everything you've heard from this speech and apply it to your own life. Come with your own steps of success to success. And one thing that I really want to, you all to take from here is that you chose the harder path, yes. You're going to choose hopefully the harder path in life later. I hope you do. Because that means you'll all become better individuals at the end. Thank you.